So, if you play pinball on the PC, you may find like me that you get very sore wrists from hovering your hands above the keyboard. So, the best way to get around this is to get the keyboard like so and add a pinball button on the end of it like so and then your hands are in a far better position like so and then you are far happier like so. Oh yes, this is how to make a proper decent pinball controller. So, to make your pinball dreams come true, you're going to need some switches to press. And these are the ones that I got, and I bought them from eBay, and they're very nice. They're quite like the ones on pinball machines. Uh, they have a micro switch on the end, which works very well. And then I used a one of these switches, uh, which I also bought on eBay, and I pressed that when I want to launch the ball. I didn't mess about with, with springs and things, trying to make that like a pinball machine. These work perfectly well. And then I used an accelerometer module, um, which enables the thing to detect when you shake it. So you shake the keyboard backwards and forwards when you want to shake the table and uh, these things are used for drones uh, and this here shows the X direction and that's the direction that you shake it in and uh, with the software detects that and turns that into a key press that tells the machine that it's been uh, shaken and finally you need an Arduino Pro Micro this one here is the one I bought and that is all of the electronics that you need to make this project work that's my shopping basket that I used to make it happen and that's what I recommend you buy if you want to do it. Oops, and I almost forgot these. Uh, toggle switches, you need one of these uh, to turn the function on and off so you don't always have a pinball controller and you can turn it off when you want to. And here we have the circuit diagram. It's very simple. The switches on the right hand side there show the left and right flipper buttons and the launch ball button which is the little red uh, switch and they're connected on the right hand side as you can see. The accelerometer connects on the left hand side mainly when it connects to the I squared C bus and this device also has an on off switch on the left hand side which you can see there and that uh, is so that we can turn off the uh, key presses that it sends so that it doesn't confuse things when we're just using the Arduino IDE and here is what it looks like uh, when it's wired up uh, as a diagram. Uh, take a screen grab of this that'll be useful eh? Now the way that this device acts as a pinball controller is that it presses the keys on the keyboard for you when you press the buttons. The Arduino uses the Arduino keyboard library to send key presses to the PC and the PC which can handle as many keyboards as you wish to connect to it just sees the Arduino as another keyboard and as it shows here you simply are pressing the left shift key, the right shift key, the enter key and the space bar key when you are pressing the buttons connected to the Arduino or shaking it vigorously. Now much of the software uh, in the pinball controller is basically the keyboard emulation uh, and button detection and that code is lifted straight from one of my previous projects this pendant for a CNC machine uh, which is also online you can go and look at this video if you wish to to see the tedious details of how the uh, keyboard library functions work this doesn't cover the accelerometer because that's new to this project but if you want to understand the Arduino code this video explains it all. And here we see the mounting hardware for the arcade style switches. Uh, the STL files are online for these uh, models 
uh, the holes here and here mount the arcade style switches and the launch buttons go into this one and this one over here or either of them because you need one button this hole over here is 28 millimeters diameter for the big arcade switches um, these mountain holes I was cons uh, the spare hold uh, and you could have uh, an extra launch button there if you chose to for convenience um, files are all online and this is what it looks like when it's been printed out on a 3D printer and fixed to a piece of plastic now the piece of plastic has got some slots made in it uh, and the feet on the keyboard slide into those slots so that the keyboard nestles up against the switches at the back uh, and can be fitted and removed as required and uh, this is it from another angle and this thing uh, enables me to fit it and remove it when I need to so that's the basic layout of the keyboard of the pinball controller Now, in order to program your Arduino Pro Micro, you're going to have to go to the Arduino website here and download the software. Uh, and you should go to the website address here and go to the software tab like so. And there's several versions of the software. He has IDE 2, which is the latest one. I don't like that, so I use the IDE, the legacy one. And here is the Windows version that I want, Windows 7 and later and you click on that to download it and then you I decline the uh, contribution and you uh, I've already downloaded this but you basically stick it into a folder and then you double click on that and say yes to everything it asks you if you want to install and that puts all the drivers on your system now when you have finished installing the Arduino IDE you have a bit more work to do because your boards manager here when you type in spark fun to look for your pro micro board it's not there so what you're going to have to do is to do a bit more configuring so you go to preferences and you have to put a magic formula into this line here in the additional boards manager so we fire up a browser and go to this address here shown at the top and it's got a magic formula here a JSON line and you copy that code there which is halfway down the page and you go back to your boards manager URLs box and you paste it into there and you say OK now when we go back to tools go to board manager and then go for spark fun what you will find is there's a whole bunch of Arduino spark fun boards there listed now and we're looking for the one that's got pro micro listed in it so let's have a look it's in there somewhere there it is pro micro so we want to install that lot so we click on the install button And that installs the support for the Arduino Pro Micro into the Arduino IDE. And close that now. Go back to Tools. Go back to the board. Select the board type to be a Sparkphone Pro Micro. And very important for us, we need to set the processor to a 5 volt 16 megahertz type. There we go. And now we're ready to load up the sketch and download it to the board okay now that we have set up the Arduino environment to recognize an Arduino Pro Micro uh, let's plug in our board and see if it recognizes it oh we've got a COM34 there we go COM34 is good 
and let's load up a sketch pinball controller there we go there's our pinball controller sketch and let's download it or upload it <laughs> There we go, it sent the code to the Arduino. OK, now the thing that you're going to have to possibly adjust in the sketch is the shake threshold. Um, if you find that the nudge function is going off all the time, then you're going to have to increase this value, and if you find it's not um, going off when you shake the table then you're going to have to decrease this value. Uh, apart from that <coughs> the sketch is fairly self-explanatory. Um, the setup is a very minimal setup for the accelerometer that I've written myself so which just stops the thing from being asleep, sets the sensitivity and tells it to run off its own internal clock. And apart from that, the main loop is just an averaging routine which gives us a baseline that we can compare the shaking against and it sets some bools and does some key presses. And that's all the code. That's about it. Um, in order to get the shake function working, I actually wrote another sketch which I uh, used the serial plotter with to plot the shaking on the screen and I will supply that um, on the uh, in the online downloadable stuff for you to look at so that you can uh, download that to your Arduino and shake the keyboard and see the curve on the screen. Definitely worth doing. Okay, let's demonstrate the other uh, sketch, the acceleration test. We uh, This is the thing that uh, draws it on the screen as a graph. Let's download this to our Arduino. Beep boop. There we go. And let's run the serial plotter. There we go. That's the accelerometer. I'm tapping the bench. See that's going to 3000. If I had the nudge threshold, the shake threshold, set at 3000, then that would have shaken our pinball table. Wouldn't have been very good. Let's press the let's press the flippers. It's hitting four and a half thousand. I'm shaking it a bit. Now I'm gonna shake the table away from me. 24,000, 30,000, 30,000, 20,000. That's auto scaling as you can see. But that's the sort of value that we're getting from the accelerometer. There you go. So that sketch will also be in the uh, zip file in the download. So if you need to adjust your threshold for the accelerometer, I recommend that you run this sketch and play with it. Press your flippers and then shake your keyboard like that and work out where you think the best threshold is for you and then adjust it a little bit by changing the variable that I showed you earlier on. <laughs> now let's set my device back to being a pinball controller because Mars awaits.